Okay, we're getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Ooh. Do you need a bus? We building a bus. Uh, nope. Anyway, sorry, that's Discord. If any of you ever message me on Discord, that's the notification I get going off in my pocket. Okay, so um, this one is the is the next big one. This is going to be called uh, Add New Item. We're going to call this the Hook. Okay. So by hooks, I mean um, everything that we've got. So if we did a search for um, UMOD Rust API, because the guys over at UMOD have written all this out, uh, you can see most of the hooks, they're not all here, okay? You can see most of the hooks that uh, are written in Oxide for uh, Rust, okay? And there are some universal ones as well, like init is a universal one. The example that I'm going to use today is the on button pushed, on button pressed, um, and it will give you, if I actually go back there, uh, it should give you an example, on button press, there we are. on button press, object, on button press, button press, base player, player, button works okay, return null. Okay, I'm not going to use it as an object, so I don't need to do this return null, I'm going to use it as a void. So. Head on over to our plugin. Let's get rid of all this nonsense. Let's grab ourselves the config. Same config, same as before. Okay. We're going to change this to be the hook. And we're going to change this to be the hook. Okay. Uh, I also need to add the permission back to this one. So uh, we're going to put in. Yeah, let's just do this one. So let's do permission, permission, dot, uh, register, permission. Um, we're going to call it the hook, dot admin, same name as we said before. Um, make sure, oops, uh, this. My brain just shut down completely then. <laughs> Registering the permission, this. Okay. Um, in our... Um, in our uh, config, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to door door net ID, and I'm going to move this, and it's going to be a uh, int. Okay, I'm going to call it door, and it's going to be equal to zero. Okay, so I'm just declaring it and putting no value in it whatsoever. Okay, right. Let's uh, head down to the bottom. Let's get rid of this command. And uh, we're going to put in a new command. So, um, some of this code you won't understand. Don't worry about it yet. This is for later on. But you can get the idea of what we're going to do. We're going to go uh, chat command and we're going to call this uh, my door. My door. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. We're going to go void my door. And we're going to go, let's get rid of those capitals, because they can cause errors. Okay. Um, base player, capital B, capital P, lowercase p, for the base player, player. Okay. Um, first of all, we're going to check the permission. So uh, if the uh, permission, permission dot uh, user has permission, user permission and do it as a player dot user id capital u capital id and change it to a string t capital s to string strings nothing comma and we're gonna say uh, the hook oops the hook um, dot admin that's what we called it I believe Let me double check <laughs> Admin and I'm going to close off a bracket or so closed off, that's fine. If the player hasn't got the permission, same as before, we're going to do uh, send uh, reply, reply to the player saying no poo. I'm not typing that out nicely, no poo. And then we're going to return that. 
Okay. Otherwise, now this part of the code you may not understand, but the long and short of this part of the code is that we're going to uh, call another function. That function is going to look at what the player is looking at. If he's looking at a door, it's going to reply with a door. Okay. You don't need to understand the workings of this function, but um, it is something that can be helpful, and I will show you again in another time. Um, what we're looking at. Oh, wait. Uh, I realized what I just did. I just mixed up two lessons. Uh, we're not using on button pressed, we're using on door knocked, okay? Ignore everything I just said. Anyway, door. <laughs> door. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, uh, if um, this is false, so let's just uh, do a look. It's going to be my um, call. Player up there. Oh, player up door. Sorry. Like I said, you don't need to understand this um, at the moment. Put my other bracket back in. Thank you. Um, send reply. Re reply. Player. Say send reply to the player. No door found. And then uh, return. return. Okay. Otherwise, um, I'll do this one for defaulting. I'm going to say send reply, send reply. Uh, to the player, and it's going to be found. Oops, quotations found. Door, uh, door. There we go. That's going to be more for me. Uh, just testing. Okay, so uh, the command is going to change the um, value of the config data. So we're going to say config data dot door is going to be equal to the door.netid.id dot ID. and then we're going to say save config just like we did before save config and config no lowercase config data with a capital D okay so like all, all we're doing here is uh, I'm going to call a function which I'm calling here um, which is going to check if the player is looking at a door or not. If the door is, if he's not looking at a door, then it will say no door found. Which is exactly. So we're going. If the statement is false by using this, then it'll say no door found. Otherwise, it'll just do. Um, it'll say there's a door found, and we're going to save it. We can put that into else uh, quotations if you want. It will have no difference on the effect. Okay. And then we're going to call, use our hook. So the hook that we, we've, we're going to use this time is... Why uh, is this all moved across? Okay. The hook that we're going to use is... Um, why is this all jumbled? This is all a mess. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this mess. Ugh. Oh, there we go. Right. Okay, try that again. Let's uh, get rid of some of this. There we go. Sorry, you can see the start and the finish. There's the start, there's the finish. And again, start, finish, start, finish, start, finish, start, finish. There we go. Okay, so uh, the hook that we're going to use is going to be uh, it's going to be a void, and it's going to be on uh, on door knocked. Okay, so this is written into oxide. It's looking for a door, which we're going to call door, funny enough. And uh, bass player. Uh, bass player. Okay. Okay, so this function gets called anytime any player knocks a door. Okay? So what we want to do is we want to uh, shorten that down. We want to shorten it down to the door that we've got in the config. 
So we're going to say if the door dot net dot id is equal to sorry is equal to config data config data thank you dot door then statement is true so if someone's knocking on the door uh, we want to say send reply to the player who's knocking the door I can't say. Send reply to the player who's knocking the door says this is an admin base. Go away. Um, yeah. That'll do. Yeah. Otherwise, else, uh, just return. Because it doesn't need to do anything. I stop mashing random keys. Yeah. Otherwise, oh, just return. Okay, I'm just going to write in uh, the bit of code to look at the door. Uh, as I said, this is something that you may not understand, but it's nothing. Um, it's not too hard when you look at it, but uh, it is a bit advanced. So we'll be looking at um, code like this later on. Uh, as the series grows, so we're going to say private door, and it's going to be called door, and we'll call it door look. Okay, and it's a base player, base player, thank you, base player, player, base player, and we're going to say out door. Raycast, Raycast, hit. Now this sometimes causes errors, and it usually does. Raycast hit, we're going to say door is equal to uh, null. And then we're going to say if uh, the physics, oops, again, physics, If physics dot raycast um, player dot eyes dot head ray comma uh, out hit three. Door is equal to hit dot get entity we get an entity as, as a door. Um, otherwise uh, return. So uh, ignore this bit of code here, but the long and short of it is, uh, we're going to look in front of the player, and if, the pl if there's a door in front of the player, then we're going to return a value to the other side. And once again, it's added Unity Engine automatically, okay? Um, but this time, it's using Unity Engine, okay? Um, so let's save this. Let's head on over to our server. Let's head back to our plugins folder, and we're going to pull the hook across. Boop, there we are. The hook is across, and we're going to open up uh, our con, and there it is. We're creating a new config file for the hook, and there is the hook. Okay, so uh, let's go back on to here. Let's go here, config. Uh, refresh and we should see the hook and it should say door net ID is zero. Okay. 
So the command that we're writing is um, we're going to use my door and then we're going to knock door and if it's the same as the door that we've got then it should say something. So let's quickly uh, potch a door up. Let's go items, construction, let's grab a door and let's knock on the door. And nothing happened. Okay, I wasn't expecting anything to happen because this isn't my door. Uh, now we set a permission, so if I say my door, it should say no perm because I have not given myself the permission. So once again, back to our call, we're going to do o, o dot grant user mic the hook dot admin, and then now when I go over here, I can say my door, my door, and it says found a door, door hinged top tier and then the net ID. Okay. So now when someone knocks on the door it should check the config data and if the config data is the same as the one on the door it says this is an well, it actually says this is and admin base go away. This is an admin base go away. Um, okay another thing I could quickly do here as well just to show you uh, the um, config stuff is that if I go like this and I say go away message, say go, uh, oh sorry I'll just put knock message, knock message and I create a uh, string, string called knock and I say poo poo. Okay, then I could go down here and where it said that this is an admin base go away, I could just put in, um, I could just put in poo poo, no, I could just put in the knock message, so I could just be like config data dot uh, knock, knock, there we go. And then I could save this, and when I now upload this to my server, the server will detect that something has changed in the config, and it will update the config automatically. There was no difference, see? It hasn't said I'm updating or I'm adding something. Um, but if you now go across to the config, um, not that one. If I now go across to our config called the hook, you will see that it says the donut ID and then it says the not message is poo poo. So uh, it's added that information in, and now when I go and knock on this door, it should say poo poo. There we are. Lovely. So um, that's the hook. So we've we've called a hook, which is on door knocked, which looks for a door and also looks for the bass player. And we're using both of those. The door is the door that we're knocking on, so we're checking if the door is equal to the one in the config data, and we're also replying to the player, which is here, uh, another value from the config. See, so we're checking for two different values in the config. This part here and this part here are just looking for uh, the information in front of the player. Um, but the more important part is we're using this bit here. We so say config data dot door is now equal to door dot net ID. So the net ID of the door that we're looking at, the door that this one has replied. And then we're just going to uh, save the data. So we're saying save data, config data. Okay. And that's it. That is a hook. You've done. You've done this action. Awesome. Let's keep going.